Hey guys, TMG here. My new package came and slipped upside down for obvious reasons. So, uh, I alluded to this in the last video, that this game was coming. Sorry if my uh, voice sounds weird. I've been sick for like the past four days. I'm definitely a lot better now, but uh... Oh man, it was a really awful experience. Okay. Just trying to cut this tape. There we go. I, the only thing is, I bought this package. It has no free returns on it. So if it comes like broken or something, I'm screwed. What really made me... See, I was originally going to buy the... Uh, you guys already know what this game is. by <laughs> The title. I was going to buy... The launch version, but then this one, I found this one, which came with the manual. Oh, the Super Mario World manual. Oh, yeah, they can't package this really well. Your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. It probably will. Wow. That looks a lot of bubble wrap. It's almost like his, uh, the Donkey Kong Country 3 game. That came with a lot of bubble wrap, too. I'm really glad they are. I really like them when they're overpackaged. It makes it, you feel really confident that they'll feel like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm going to cut the label or something. I shouldn't, though, because there's two layers of bubble wrap. Oh, there's the cartridge! Super Mario World! It's the 1 million sold. I was originally going to buy the uh, version that just, but you know, the Super Mario World, where it's, it's like all the words are at the top, and then this is centered. So I, I, I've been buying the launch, or the first editions of all the Mario games. So this is like the five screw Super Mario Brothers, so like the first version of that. And then I have the left bro Super Mario Brothers 3. So I was buying like all the oldest ones, because I thought those were the most fascinating ones. Also because I thought they are cool, because they're slightly rarer. Not by much, but then this uh, this one came with a manual, and I'm like, whoa. Also, this is the uh, Player's Choice Edition. I think those that's really cool, too. It has the, uh, the RSRB rating. Dang it. My hand smells like potato chips. This has a really weird uh, sticky feeling to it. It's odd. Let's look at this manual here. You know, kind of... Uh, I don't want you, I want you guys to be able to see what's going on. Maybe that's a little better. Let's see. Oh. oh, how'd they even get it in this bag? So it won't come out. Oh, I'm gonna rip it if it. Oh. I should probably just cut this bag open. I just don't like ripping up things. Or breaking it. I could still use this bag. But what I did is I slightly... Oh! This is stressful. Oh, wait. I think I see what I can do. I can... Okay. And then you just... Okay, I see. They kind of... Super Mario World Manual. Or it says it has some tape on it. So it's definitely a little broken. Nintendo Steel Quality. That's the story. I already know the story. I already also already know the controls. Oh, she's island. Uh, this is a cool piece of history now. Thing is, this like if you think of like sure this game was made before I was born. It's like the same with a lot of the other games I get, but like. It's really not that long ago, if you think about it. Like, the Nintendo Wii is now considered a retro console. And that was my childhood console. I think it's like the... It's 10 years or older is what make it classifies it. I believe that's what it was. I don't know if that's... Official? Yeah, this art's really good. Yeah. Now, I've noticed New Super Mario Bros. U is definitely based off of Super Mario World just because of the baby Yoshis and then how the name of every place is named after some sort of food. Wow, the keys. Oh, I remember there's like some ways to cheese the secrets to get to the keys so you don't need to like hit the switch path. 
The mini rhino, dino rhino. Did anyone write anything in the memo? That's a good question. No. Okay, that's a good. That's cool. Get the manual. Okay. This one also has orange pins, which I'm kind of expecting. This Donkey Kong Country 3 had orange pins, too. I'm, I'm thinking since it's an older print of the game, it has orange pins. See, like, uh... This one has white pins. I don't know if you can see them or not, but, like, the the, the plastic, or the, the the boards made out of is white instead of uh, orange. You can tell this is an older game because it doesn't have an ESRB rating on it. Which was made because of games like Mortal Kombat were concerning parents about violence in video games. Okay. Uh, so next up we're going to clean the game. Okay. It's now the time where we see how dirty this cartridge is or how, like, you know, if the owner cleaned it out before sending it or, like, I don't know. Sometimes they're really dirty and, like, the seller will clean it before selling it. You see? Or some people, like, they don't know how to clean it, so they just sell it. Right? Yeah, pretty clean. Really clean. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, there's some little bits of stuff, but... Not really anything. Okay. It's really clean. The label has some stuff on it, but I don't like putting rubbing alcohol like that much on the label. Yeah, it's mostly just like pen marks that are or indents that are stuck in there. Oh wait. Is that mark I just made permanent? That would stink. Well, that's not good. Well, I'll just try to forget about that. Maybe if you have a Super Nintendo game, maybe don't put any rubbing alcohol on the sticker. I did that, I think I did it for this game and nothing happened, so I found that a little unusual. It, like, it made a little, it didn't smudge anything, it's just like the gloss finish. Looked a little different after I did that. I don't know, maybe it just needs to dry out. That's okay, I guess. Well... No, if it is permanent, I'll probably will never forgive myself because I do beat myself up about stupid things that I should probably just forget about. Okay. I think that's good for testing. Looks pretty good. Wasn't that dirty. So, yeah, let's try to boot up the game. Okay, guys, here we go. There's the game. Okay. There we go! I don't know how well you guys can see that. That's definitely working. Oh, dang it. I won't focus on the screen now. There we go. You can kind of see that. Got it. Let me just reset the game. This is insane. Whoever sold this game to me, they have a save file where they 100% in the game. Maybe not completely. Maybe they didn't completely do the star or like the extra special world. But like, look at this. I don't know if you can see it that well. The world map is all brown. You go on a level and all their heads are Koopas. I've never actually seen a save file like this. I've never attempted to 100% the game. Ugh. And usually when I get a new game, I delete all the save files. But now I'm wondering if it'd be insane of me to do that. Because I like to have my own personal save files. The thing is, 
sure it's cool to have a 100% save file, but, like, that's not my own game. I don't want to be, like, one of those people that takes credit for something. I want to play a Star Wars level. Oh, this level. Remember this... What I like about this game compared to the newer Mario games is that you can actually save Yoshi. It's, like, so nice. Oh, it's nice to not have input lag on this game now. No, go the other way, stinking coins! How do I have to forget how to make them turn the other way? Well, that stinks. Oh! That's how you get to the special world. Oh! They remixed the Mario 3 theme from the Beach World 3. Special world. I've never played these levels before. Funky. Like, that is so cool, but can I, I don't want to, I almost don't want to delete the save file. Because it's, I don't know. I'll probably feel good deleting the save file once I 100% the game on my own. I don't know what to think, guys. Comment in the description what you think, but, uh. That's Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo right there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, it really does help. And, uh, yeah. TMG out. Bye.